Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and this is Vigorelli Institute. Now, um, something I want to talk about that's kind of been weighing on my mind for a while and it's kind of a state of the world, okay? Now, uh, those of you paying attention to things will notice that the world kind of sucks right now, okay? You're not allowed to say things that a little while ago, you were allowed to say. You have to say things that, just a few years ago, you never would have even considered saying, mostly because the words didn't even exist. Okay? Or if they did, you didn't know them. Movies kind of suck. New books are blah. And... TV's really freaking weird. Okay? Why is that? I'll tell you. We are in a Dark Age. Okay? Now, this Dark Age has been in existence for... God, at least 20 years, I'd say. Pretty much my entire adult life has been a Dark Age. Now, I'm not just saying just because, you know, employment's been difficult for me. I'm not the only one. Okay? I'm saying this because it's a fact, okay? So what is a Dark Age? Well, a Dark Age is a period in time where the basic aspects of a civilization or a culture become stagnant, become uninspiring, become unimpressive. And it's a time when everything new is bad and everything old <coughs> is good. And there really isn't a lot of hope for the future. Okay? Now, the United States has been through a couple of these. Okay? Uh, the United States went through a dark age in the 1970s because of the proto-Dark Age that was the 1960s, okay? We also went through, uh, we went through a global one in the 1930s and 1940s with a golden age cropping up in the 1950s, at least here in the U.S. Uh, before that, um, 1820s was a Dark Age, 1870s was a Dark Age, 1890s was definitely a Dark Age, holy crap. But, a lot of good things came out of those, okay? We learned how to do things better, okay? Now, I'm not going to give you my political stand on that, okay? That's, you're going to have to guess on that, because I'm not going to tell you, okay? So, what do we do about it? Well, best way to break a Dark Age is to do exactly the opposite of what the Dark Age wants you to do. Okay? If the Dark Age says you need to go do this thing and you don't want to do it, don't do that. Now, how do you know it's the Dark Age wanting you to do that? I'll tell you. The Dark Age will tell you to do something that you, that in general, people would not want to do. Also, <clears throat> the penalty for not doing it is severe. Okay? Insert what severe means here. So, during the Dark Ages, if you didn't go to church, you were made to go to church, and if you still didn't like it, well, you had a bad day. Okay? Does that sound familiar to anyone? Indeed. So, how did this start? How did the current Dark Age start? Well, Dark Ages often come right at the end of a Golden Age. Okay? Many people would argue that the 1980s into the 1990s were a golden age, okay? 
they were some of the greatest movies, some of the greatest uh, pieces of music came out of this time period. A lot of people, would, metalheads would argue the 1970s started it off, that was the first visage of it. Okay. And then Dark Age finally broke, I'd say probably mid-70s, and things started to build. We peaked sometime late 80s into the mid-90s, and then it just kind of floated and then dropped. Okay, so what happened in the world at this time? Well, Y2K happened. Yeah, turn of the century. Okay, turn of the millennium. You know, as far as our calendar is concerned. You know, it, everything was supposed to shut down. I remember this. Um, er, all the computers were supposed to stop working because they just, because they wanted to save space and they didn't update it, and everybody was scrambling to get it done, and everything was fine. Okay. So, September 11 of 2001, first terrorist attack on American soil in a very long time happened, and it plunged the world into a near global war without a truly identifiable enemy. Okay. Well, what are you saying? There was an identifiable enemy. It was this group over here. Yeah. But, not really. Okay. Everybody was all excited to go to war. Everybody was all excited to have things happen. Um, they wanted um, to fight, to destroy, and... Television and music reflected that, okay? Now, my generation, we came of age right in the middle of this, okay? I graduated high school in 02, and I was very worried that I was going to get drafted. Um, now, the interesting part is I uh, took a test called an ASVAB. Uh, it was when you took shop where I lived. Uh, you had to. It was mandatory. So I took that and I got a call from the Navy and said, hey, we really like your scores, man. We really want to send you to the academy for college. How'd you like to come have a sit down with us? Sure. Great. I'd love to. So about a month before my senior year of high school, I go and I talk to a Navy recruiter and he lays everything out, you know, kind of fluffs my tail a little bit about how good it would be. And all I had, and I was like, yeah, man, that sounds wonderful. I said, now, how, when's your birthday? It's October. Okay, we gotta wait, because you have to have a parent's signature before you're 18. I said, well, my parents, are prob they probably won't okay it, you know, but when I'm 18, so yeah, don't worry about it, okay? We understand you're still in high school. It's all right. I said, I do want you to go take a physical for me. Can you do that? Said, yeah, sure. So I went and took the physical, failed it miserably. My lungs were garbage, my joints were terrible, the cardiovascular system needed so much work, I'm like 17 years old, okay? It'd be a long time before I was healthy. So, get the results back. He gets the results, calls me and says, hey, uh, remember that deal? Yeah, never mind. We're, uh, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be able to come in. No, two weeks later was the attack, okay? So I knew that if it came to draft, I would probably not be a soldier. I would most likely be <clears throat> administrative or um, support, something like that. Maybe medical corps, we'd see. Okay. Well, that never came to pass. I went, I went to college, I got a degree in business, and oh boy, was I liberal. Okay. Which, you know, I went to a liberal, liberal arts school, as you do. And I got out of school, and I started doing some other stuff. Now, as I was in school, I noticed all the movies were basically the same. Okay, now this is a long time before um, Marvel uh, movies came out. Marvel was just comic books at that point. And right after I turned 18, Marvel was also the very first stock I ever bought. I paid $20 for it, a bunch of shares of Marvel. I think they were doing like $640 a share. 
Yeah, so I bought like three, four shares of it. And I just kind of sat on it. Well, Marvel went kind of bankrupt. Okay, so the shares dropped from like six bucks down to two. And then for some reason they spiked to 20. Weird. Then all of a sudden I went to check it again. You know, like, hey, look what I bought. I'm so cool, you know. You know, didn't exist. So I, I was looking through my uh, portfolio and I saw DIS, which is Disney. I was going, oh, cool, I own stock in Disney. That's awesome. And a little while later, um, Iron Man came out. Okay. Well, the rest on that is as they say. So how does this lead into the Dark Age? Well, we were right at the start of it. You see, Dark Ages don't happen like Golden Age, Dark Age. Golden Age, Dark Age. It's not like that, okay? It's a very, very slow process, okay? Coming in and going out, okay? We went into that Dark Age. This started probably back in 01, 02, okay? As I'm recording this, it's, 20, it's 2023 right now. It's um, February of 23, actually. Um, today is February 12, I believe. Yeah. So, the... See, the way these things happen is somebody gets the opportunity to do something. So they do it. And then somebody else sees what they're doing, and they jump on it, okay? Then somebody else joins in, and it just grows from there. And then somebody nefarious sees the opportunity, hey, I'm going to seize me some power and do things. So they take up on it, okay? It's what happened in Europe during the fall of the Roman Empire, okay? It is what happened in Europe when the Holy Roman, when uh, the first Holy Roman Empire fell, that was the Empire of Charlemagne, um, happened in China, happened in Japan, okay? Happened when Grand Mongol fell. It happened when the Mughals fell, etc., 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 okay? Many empires fell as a result of the Dark Age. The Dark Age happened, and they didn't recover. Okay? So, what can we do about it? Well, my recommendation is do everything you can to stay in with your sensibilities. Okay. Make friends with people that think like you. Okay. It doesn't matter what their religion is. It doesn't matter what, what skin color they have. Anything like that. That is meaningless. Okay. What does matter is that you have friends. Okay. That you are in a good, strong community. Okay. And above all else, resist tyranny of all forms, okay? I don't care if it's liberal, I don't care if it's conservative, uh, I don't care if it's anarchist, I don't. All of that is irrelevant, okay? Build up what you can and do your best to leave something for the next generation. Also, make the next generation. Do not be self-centered. Do not um, cowtail to fanatical groups, whatever they may be, whether they be religious, non-religious, um, chemically oriented, biologically oriented, um, 
completely wacko ideological, whatever that may be, okay, do not cowtail to them. All right? And we'll get out of this. Maybe I will see that in my lifetime. I don't know. I'm going to be turning 40 this year. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to see the out of this Dark Age, but I don't know. It's still kind of up in the air, okay? So if you're watching this, if you're an artist of any kind, get out there and make art. Make beautiful art. Don't do things that will sell, okay? People are getting wise to this. What you need to do is look to the look to the past, okay? Trust me, the future is in the past, okay? Not now. What is going on right now is at best a fad, at worst destructive. Okay? So if you want to make you want to do a painting, do a painting. I paint. I'm not good at it, but I paint. If you want to write, write. Okay? I've got a few books available. Perhaps you would like to check them out. Go to viminvigorelli.com. You'll see them. Okay? I've even got merchandise. Okay? If you want to do it, if you want to make a movie, make a movie. Okay? Nothing's stopping you. Okay? The camera that I'm recording this on and the tripod I've got, by the way, this thing's cut right. Okay? This whole setup right here is about 150 bucks. Mech. The um, computer is actually sitting right here in front of me on my desk. Okay? And this cost me 150 bucks, something like that, and it's pretty cheap. Okay? Um, previous video, um, I'm waiting on some RAM so I can upgrade a little bit so I can do more, okay? But you don't need a big office and legions of people to do things anymore, okay? If you know what you're doing and you've got, you know, three or four friends, you can do a lot of stuff, man, okay? Marvel was started by two people. DC was started by three people. Disney was started by a guy named Walt Disney and about, I think, three or four other people, okay, back in the 1920s, all right? Warner Brothers was started by two guys. They were the Warner Brothers, okay? The list goes on. Now, eventually, those things will break down and fall away. New stuff will come in. Why can't that be you? Okay? So, when you're done watching this video, I want you to go make some plans and do some stuff, okay? If you're a creative, create. If you're not creative, support creatives, okay? Also, improve things around you as best you can, okay? Don't be a hoarder. Don't be a jerk. Okay? And don't give in to tyranny. That is all I have to say on that. Alright. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. Do all the YouTube stuff. Feel free to visit my website, viminvigorelli.com. Also, vigantmed.com. I've got stuff there. And uh, you can also connect with me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. So, take care, guys. I'll be back later. Bye-bye.